I've uh, I have to go and leave uh, Gimpy a, a bit of an arrival gift. Mm-hmm. Um, had, it's had customary. A, you had a drop off in the toilet because yep. uh, yesterday we, we were at the music festival, which was last week's episodes, and um, or well, how did that end up? That was big. What do you mean? Well, I, I'm asking up? you because I don't <laughs> remember much of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I was having heaps of fun, and then I started my shift as a babysitter yes. for the end of the night, yep. uh, just to look out after these two. Uh, we uh, we we almost got died, I think. Yeah. we The festival ended. Uh, it was great. And then instead, we decided... The dumbest shit ever. There was there was like a, a an exit that everyone was to take to jump on buses that would drive you to a safe area to wait for an Uber. We, in our arrogance, decided, well, we have media passes, which aren't VIP. They're just below that. We have media passes. We're not going to get on a bus with the plebs. With a with a commoner. Yeah, we're going to yeah. go through the the uh, the exit that is for staff. And we went through that. Now, not realizing that that exit was for people with cars. And then mm. we just got stranded. I look at my phone to pull up the Uber. Oh, That's yeah, we right. got in a guy's car. And then, then we walked down a freeway for about an hour. An hour down a freeway. And then we hit a, round, a freeway roundabout that in the middle of it was a construction site. Luke almost dies getting onto the highway that was uh, an oncoming thing, tried to yeah. climb a bridge. We had to abandon that. We couldn't get picked <laughs> up by the Uber because there was a red zone. No Uber driver would come anywhere near. So we had to plan a route to exit the red zone or make the trek back to go to the buses with the plebs, which obviously was not going to happen. So mm. we ended up down a dirt road, a concerned local actually pulled up next to us and was like, are you guys okay? Do you know what you're doing? And we'll, and I'm like, yeah, man, we're, we're trying to leave the red zone. And he, he thought, fuck, am I in war zone? Yeah. And he didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, he was confused. The, uh, you were probably on his property or something. I think we were on someone's property. I, lo- I looked at the map and, and the road that we were walking down ended with something that mm. was just called the gravel pit. Yeah. So he was like, why are these guys well, walking towards the gravel pit? I truly haven't been that intoxicated in about four years. Yeah, yeah. Luke, Luke when he's drunk, is, is a lot of fun. You're very nice, but, but you're, you also reach a point where you're re- you get really self-conscious about being drunk around me, where you go, man, I must be so annoying yeah. right now. And, and you're not, but you constantly asking if you're annoying is really annoying. Mm, that's annoying. So that would be my only suggestion yeah. to drunk Luke if you ever run into him again. Yeah. Just, just don't be annoying. Yeah, I'll tell him later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I came away from. Uh, I came away from this evening with a fucked elbow because I fell over a bunch of times. When we were trying to cross the road, Luke, I split my pants. I'm so angry we didn't film this. We're trying to we're trying to cross the road and there was a little ditch. That was like covered in grass, so you, so you couldn't tell it was a ditch. It looked like a flat plane of grass. Yeah. <laughs> and Luke, I should have gone first. Yeah. It's probably my fuck up. I, I ran down it. Luke <laughs> runs, thinking that it's like not a slope at all. <laughs> it was really and long then, grass. And then immediately face plants <laughs> on an angle and disappears into the grass. Like, you disappeared. I, I thought, like, fuck, Luke was imaginary the whole time. <laughs> he just disappeared. Dude. And then you, you, you were so pissed, you face plant, and then you just stayed there for like 40 <laughs> seconds while your brain was like, hang on, what just happened to me? And like, you had to process that you were no longer upright. Yeah. But when you're that drunk, <laughs> your brain just accepts it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm here now. And then I woke up this morning, dude. I had bled all over my jumper. Oh, no, not the gander. No, the hoodie. other one. Oh, oh, that's why I'm wearing this one. Oh, it the has other blood gander one. all over it. Man, lucky you got two. Yes. I'm very grateful I bought two because I'm going to have to throw that through a washing machine during the week. Yeah, and all my clothes were just fucked. They were all like yeah. ab- dirt on everything. You you turn into a toddler. I had to go, Luke, <laughs> stop running. Luke, don't cross the road without me. Hold my yeah. hand. You and I was like yelling at you, fucking pussy, just yeah. cross. Yeah, you were a toddler like a who four, could swear. Four lane freeway, and I'm just running across. Yeah, trying to trying to scale some bridge that if you <laughs> fell off, you would fall like ten feet yeah. down onto another highway and then yeah. get run over. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like that would be that would have been some cartoon death. I was messaging Meg the whole time, and she's just like, "Oh my god, fucking where's Lewis? Like, do not leave his sight." Yes. I have like a conversation with her. I'm sending her photos of us like walking along the freeway. Yeah. I was reading it back this morning. She's just like, "Just stay with Lewis." Like she's so concerned <laughs> about my well-being, and she's like, "Are you home now?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure." I'm like, "We're in some guy's car," and she's yeah. like, "Who's the guy?" I was like, "I have no idea." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't an Uber. It was like at the festival. One of the roadies oh, gave us right. a lift. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was driving past us and Keel just goes, oh, can you give us a lift? And he's like, what? And then he goes, give us a lift. He's like, oh, uh, okay. But and his car was That's how he ended up shit. getting lost because he yeah. just drove us <laughs> to nowhere. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he drove us to nowhere. He's like, I can give you a lift, but like, I'm not going to take you anywhere productive. It's my fault that we got lost. It is your fault. Oh, it oh, is. Oh, sorry. This was a good one. Also, there was a, a there was an obscenely drunk woman that was being looked after by her friends, and and we were we were hanging out in the in the VIP. She was there for some reason, and she was really really drunk. And she had a cigarette, and she was uh, just asking everyone for a lighter. No one had a lighter. And then Keelan goes, "Oh, I've got one." And she goes, "Do you?" And he goes, "Yeah, it's right here." And shows her just his thumb, <laughs> and she goes, "Oh." You're a lifesaver. <laughs> and then, and then, like, Keelan didn't, like, hide it from her. He goes, yeah, I have one. Here's my thumb. She goes, oh, lifesaver. Thank you so much. And then cups her hand around his thumb. Keelan is, like, pissing himself in her face. That I'm dying. An and she's just, like, just really waiting for his cigarette, sucking on the cigarette, waiting for it to light. And then, and then after 15 seconds, Keelan just had to, like, you know, show her some mercy and go, hey... That's actually just he my did thumb. Way rude as shit when we were when we were watching Peking Duck. I don't think you missed this one. Huh? A girl came up to us in the crowd asking for a lighter. He did the same shit. He goes, "Yeah, I've got a lighter." And then just <laughs> <laughs> gave her the finger. <laughs> I did that. I did that all day. <laughs> yeah, Killer was a Killer was a bit of a menace, but also a good bloke. In like like what I'm I'm looking after you because you kept bumping into everyone so I'm trying to keep you near me so no, you don't moshing. start a I was fight moshing. accidentally. I was moshing. You weren't moshing, you were stumbling. No, the guys were fans. Yes, who I was dancing yes, with. Yes, but if they weren't fans, they would have been very angry That's because fine. you kept. Mate, it was a bloody honor that they got to dance with me and hold prop me up. It looked like an annoyance to me. me um, so we so you're doing that, and then I Keelan's less drunk, so I'm not too worried about him. Uh, but then I just look back uh, at Keelan, and there's just some guy on Keelan's shoulders, and and I'm like, hey, who is that guy? Keelan's like, I've got no idea. <laughs> and then for three songs, he has just this stranger on his shoulders, a I man. I'm dancing, I'm like, like that as well. <laughs> he was great. He's a listener of the show. Yeah, we did we did meet a lot of listeners. It's very cool. The show is growing. It's yeah. cool to see. We love meeting you guys. It's Thanks so fun. Everyone came up and said hi. And because everyone knows I'm such a piece of shit. Like people just offer me drugs and stuff. They yeah. like I don't do drugs. I just drink. Like, yes. And then uh, but people I'm like oh no it's fine mate I don't worry mate. And but I was so drunk that I was like mate more for you you know yeah. and I was like really encouraging. Oh my god, Killen's scared by the swan. The swan. It's just investigating. If you start acting weird, it's going to attack. <laughs> <laughs>